hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to convert a complex number from polar exponential form to rectangular form here we have three complex numbers given in polar exponential form let's look at the first one here we are going to use the Euler's formula to convert this one Euler's formula says that r e power j theta is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta now let's look at this one here this one is going to be our r and this is going to be our theta so we can express this one as r cosine instead of r i have to plug 3 right here so this is going to be 3 cosine the angle is phi plus i sine phi and we know that cosine phi is equal to negative 1 and sine phi is equal sine phi is equal to 0 so this is going to be i times 0 and fi finally we will end up with negative 3 and if we draw this one in a graph let's put the graph right here so in graph the real part always will be the x-axis this is our real part and the imaginary part will be y-axis imaginary part but for this one we only have the real part and that is in the x-axis and that is negative 3 so we are going to have 3 units in the left side so this is going to be the point and the angle that making from the x-axis in the positive axis I mean positive x-axis is going to be 180 degree phi okay and this is for the first one now let's look at the second one second one we have 5 this is going to be our r and we have 5 by 2 that's going to be our theta and if we write this one in this form this is going to be r instead of r I had to write 5 so this is going to be what this is going to be 5 cos the angle is 5 by 2 and then plus i sine 5 by 2 cos 5 by 2 is equal to 0 so this is going to be just 0 plus i sine 5 by 2 is equal to 1 so we just put 1 right here so finally we will end up with 5i 5i mean let's get rid of this one so this is just the imaginary part so and, and that is positive since this is positive we are going to have this one 5 units in the positive axis positive y axis so this is going to be it and the angle that's making from the horizontal of the positive x axis is going to be 5 by 2 let's look at the third one for this one this is going to be r this is going to be the theta and theta is given in all of them are given in radians this is 4 and uh, if we convert this one into this format this is going to become what this is going to be 7 cos 4 radians plus i sine 4 radians and uh, for this one we have to plug it in the calculator if you plug this one in the calculator you will get negative 0 0.6536 plus i times negative 0 0.7568 okay finally when you calculate you are going to get negative 4.5 five seven five five minus five point two nine seven six i so this is going to be the final complex number now if we if we plug this one into graph let's see where it's gonna be okay so let's redraw this one okay first we have to know that this is in the the real part is negative 4.5 so 1 2 3 4 and uh, somewhere in the middle right so after that it's going to be somewhere here so let's say this is 4.5 and the imaginary part is negative 5.2 so let's say 1 2 3 4 5 and somewhere here so the image uh, the complex number we are looking for is exactly somewhere here and the length from the origin is going to be 7 since r is 7 and the angle that's making from the positive horizontal x-axis is going to be 4 radians theta it is theta is equal to 4 and that's how we convert a complex number in exponential form to cartesian form or you can say rectangular form and that's how we do this. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.